All right, well, I'm doing more testing with my um, top charger and the generator coil that I came up with uh, with the other guys that's pulling energy off of the uh, top. That little ball in there is spinning around. It's a neodymium uh, 3 8 inch ball sphere magnet inside a coil of wire. I got it running through a bridge rectifier now into a jewel thief circuit. This is a standard jewel thief circuit and I'm going to show how these uh, lights light up similar to those lights. This is the generator part of the system. It's the pickup coil and that's the voltage sitting on the pickup coil right now um, after it goes through the bridge rectifier. Now over here is the amp draw at 9 volts it's at about 25 milliamps right now. And a lot of people are asking me, well, when you hook up the generator coil, does this load the um, system down and draw more amps? And I replied, no, it doesn't. What it does is it slows the top down. And that slows the top down. When that slows the top down, this actually drops down. But, of course, the lights start to blink, and you don't get the same output from the uh, top. Now I'm going to turn a radio on here so you can listen to what it sounds like and you can hear the RPM. And that's the uh, top charger running. That's the voltage right now on the uh, generator coil. That's this right here. Now I'm going to hook up the jewel thief. This is going to drop down. Okay. Here goes the jewel thief. Now the jewel thief is on. You can hear the RPM start to drop down on the system. That's loading up the top. But look at my amp draw. My amp draw actually has dropped some. Because what's happening is the pulse motor is firing fewer times per second. And of course now I've got a blinking going on with the lights. But I've got constant light coming off of the jewel thief. That's the voltage right now after it's under load. Let me take the load off again and you watch the thing go back up. There goes the generator voltage going back up. Amp draw didn't change any. You can hear the, the RPM start to rev up again. There's the lights out. And the jewel key, let me hook the lights up again. I go to the lights on the dual feed, the voltage, and the RPM starts to drop down. And this is all running off of a 9 volt uh, uh, battery right there. And then I've got a charge battery that's picking up the back EMF on the charging part of this. Um, what I really wanted to show was that this can not only run an LED, but this can actually run a circuit. And that's what I, I wanted to see was can you push this energy through a bridge rectifier? and make it run an electronic circuit and get some use out of it? And the answer is yes, you can. Now, this is another critical thing is there's a distance point away from the wheel that is critical too. You come out too far, the ball stops. You come in too close, it stops the rotor. So there's a fine balance there from how much energy you're going to pull off, how much light you're going to generate, and what you're going to steal from the main unit. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show is somebody asked me to uh, try this, and that is turn the uh, main rotor off and see if the generator still generates. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to disconnect the battery. You're going to hear the radio stop making a sound, and that's when the power goes off. And I'm going to show the battery voltage over here on the generator. Okay, now that's still running, even though there's no power going to that. And you'll see that that's dropping down, and the jewel thief is starting to wind down here. And there goes the jewel thief, and there goes the top. Anyway, that's my display for today. That's the generator coil running on my top charger.